Hello and welcome back to the TP-Link European Open, sponsored by Multiplay, supported by Top Mid, the home of competitive gaming. Up next, we have got Epsilon taking on Vanquish. My name is Gucci. I am joined by Tunny for all of this Call of Duty action. You got that intro nailed, haven't you? <laughs> you got, or you just go around and piece of paper. I've been rehearsing, you. mate. I have been rehearsing. There we go. The first blood from Tommy on this domination, followed up by a kill with that m -tar. He's going to get him straight, off, straight on that B flag there. Look up top, making sure nobody's coming around him and he is going to link that with an assist Josh there his teammate the new addition to this Epsilon lineup this is their first outing what do you reckon to the team change son? well I think it's a good team change I think you know bringing in Josh he's, he brings something a bit more exciting to Epsilon as well somebody who can really run around and get those kills down for the team of course very good objective player we're on ball with Regan though from Thank you. let's see what they can do try and cause an upset here currently they do have a hold uh, they did have a hold to be like they did actually lose it though but on board with him now as they look to get a hold of it once again has some support from his teammate as well. Does get shut down from center though. And that is going to be Swanee coming in there kill with a kill. Josh taking down Noza as well. So Epson playing that pretty well from the start there. Let's get on board with Josh. If we can get some more game time. Oh. Oh, yes, that would be great. But Swanee and Josh doing what's on there. And look at the three cap. Josh does get in down on board with Tommy though. Just holding down B. Yeah, Tommy there just securing that middle area. Just making sure that nobody's coming around him. And he's just going to push up this right-hand side, trying to provide some support on that C flag. Does manage to pick up one with the headshot. That was against Regan. Realizes there's another player on that C Ooh. flag. He gets pushed from behind. That was Norza. And he does manage to take him down with that m -tar. So we're going to get on board with Jerd now, just trying to get a better angle to defend that B flag. Going to push up heavily on that C spawn, trying to get right in the face of Vanquish here. Decides just to push back a little bit. Oh, that was a good play from Jerd there. The timing was impeccable. So he's going to push on through in towards that C flag. Going to go and join Josh. And Josh is still there. Regan is going to come in there with a the kill, but Josh is actually going to take get taken down in the end there. On board with Tommy, though. He's going to try and clean up. He has. They are actually losing it. Swanee is there, though, and they should take C relatively easily. Nobody around from Van Q. They do that and get a hold of B2. And they are currently a little, sitting pretty, really. I mean, two... If you look at it, 43 to 18, it's pretty easy for them so far. Yeah, it's definitely a pretty convincing victory so far. They've got themselves set up well. No worries for them. I mean, look at Swanee currently 6 and 2. Tommy on 7 and 4. 7 and 4 for Josh as well. Jerd, bottom of the leaderboard for Epsilon. That's very, very strange. You don't often see that. I mean, it is an all round team effort from what we've seen so far at 48 to 23. Two and a half minutes left to play on this side. Josh just picking himself up another cap. It looks as if Epsilon are happy just to keep rotating between the flags here as if this is strike zone, but of course, not sovereign. They're playing it very, very different to how you normally see this map get played. Yeah, we're on board with Josh now. They are going to try and get a hold of B. Epsilon all converged down. That's what Shaney was going to come in with the kill there. Tommy's going to clean up though. Does not get a hold of B. Just does eventually oh. though. Regan's going to come in there. Clean up Tommy from a nice two piece that did shut him down. Jed cleaning up eventually. Let's actually go on board with somebody from Bank Q. Uh, Norza not having the greatest game so far. Six and ten. Ben there is going to not get taken down. Tommy does get taken down, but with that MTAR. And they're going to try and get some map control now. I think that's going to be Swanee watching on this left hand side. He's going to do well to pick him up from there. <laughs> Swanee with the easy enough kill. Switching on board with him. He does good. Shed done. Shut down though. Tommy on board with him now. See yes. what he can do with the MTAR. It does pick up the Remnant. Yeah, this is a relentless push from uh, Epsilon here. They've gained themselves 30 point difference. Just a little bit of cushion. Let's get on board with a different player now. Let's get on board with Josh. Currently in the thicket of it all in the action on that right hand side. Goes oh, for the two Josh. piece around that B bomb site. Does manage to pick that up now. Is already heavy tagged. Going to get that trophy system down, which will, of course, provide him with some support uh, from any stuns or grenades coming over at him. Just managed to land some bullets on a player going down bomb. Not going to pick that up. Losing B flag now. Going to push in. Just managed to secure that. That's Regan that gets pushed off that from Josh. And he's still going in there just to try and take the lead again. Yeah, Shadow is just sitting in a good corner. He has actually managed to pick up a two-piece. Swanee picking up a two-piece of his own. Currently B is uncontested as well as C. So up in the end at the moment with Epsilon have a pretty good lead going in this second half. 55 seconds just gone on that clock. And they have managed to capture C here at Vancouver. Swanee's going to push in there, tries to cause some issues for them. He does currently have a hold of A, and his team have taken a hold of B as well. Vancouver coming back here. Shinya with a two-piece there. Oh, Josh is going to shut that down, though. Trying to hold down B on his own. Shinya is going to get shut down there. Norza coming in there with a the kill of his own. No pick on the two-piece. Also, Tommy coming in there, shutting that down. Lots of kills going down. Not much objective whip from either team. Not enough anyway. And well, for the first time on board with Pulse, 7 and 11 from him, 4 captures to his name, does look as if he's going to just about to get a hold of it there. Just ran off that a little bit too quickly for my leg, and does get a hold of that, but at the moment, the difference is pretty big. Yeah, exactly, I mean, 40 points the difference going in at the half by the look of things, and 
Now Vanquish have got a lot of work to do to be able to claw this back. Of course, this Epsilon lineup were the were the victors in the TP Link Invitational. That was an online cup that got played over the, the previous couple of weeks. 94 to 56 is your final score there. So that's uh, 38. Yeah, 38 points. You worked that out without a calculator. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Tim. You're welcome. Anyway, that is going to be the difference going into the second half. Look at Josh, 70 unit. Yeah. I mean, let's discuss that pickup. For me, I think, you know, them losing Flux, I think I think it is, it is a good pickup. And that, well, I say losing Flux, they obviously did drop Flux yeah. in the end there. Due to other commitments, I think, you know, I think when you're, you are a team like Epson, you are playing so much, it potentially, if you, if you do sort of have other commitments, it is going to really well, I was affect their team. I was speaking to them the other day, and the way that Tommy sort of set out something that he'd done in the week, it was as if they literally just had a designated day off as if it was a, a full-time job so to speak how you have five working days and then he said like oh yeah well we're always off Tuesday you know so that meant that he could go and do other things on that Tuesday for example and I think being a full-time student especially focusing on a degree which is obviously what Flux was doing it's going to be a very hard position so I completely understand why Epsilon have have taken the decision to drop him um, I mean they spoke before that it wasn't down to, to skill I mean, even though they were oh, no, no. they were off the back of <coughs> a, poor they're, they're a poor result, oh, disappointing, disappointing result. I wouldn't necessarily say poor, but yeah, you know they played well. Result. I think uh, if we talk about champs, they did play very, very well from what I've seen as well. Um, just a little bit unfortunate, if anything. But I think replacing Flux with Josh is a good move. I think Josh, although on this game not necessarily as established as he has been on previous Call of Duty. He hasn't had a solid roster as of yet, has Yeah, he? but I think he can definitely do the work. I was speaking to Swanee on the way down. He says, you know, the guy's comms are brilliant. Uh, somewhat laughable sometimes. He says he repeats <laughs> the same call out a minute later. I mean, he's being top red, top red, top red, top red, top red, top red. You know, yeah. he communicates constantly. It's, it's nice to have, and he's, he's a fully skilled player. I mean, let's go on board with him here. Go on board with Josh. He's in, uh, of course, the Bison, which is going to be used a lot this weekend. Now, an interesting fact for you, though. Tommy and Josh have teamed together three times previously, normally in pickup rosters, and they have won every event that they've attended. Well, I think they've got a very, very good chance going in this one. I mean, this map so far, they're going to secure B and do have their home flag, so it's starting off from where they finished. Looking pretty dominant on this domination. Sovereign here against Van Q, who... They've got, they've got a tough, tough matchup here, of course. I mean, Josh going in and shots with the Bison at the top. They <laughs> did not get that there. But I think, you know, going into this, you've got to look at Epsilon as one of the favourites. Oh, definitely. I think it's definitely between... Uh, there's probably three or four teams, maybe even five, that you could pick as the top five straight from the bat. But I definitely think it's TCM, Epsilon, maybe Infuse. Oh, oh my Goodness, the Tommy reactions of this guy are ridiculous. I mean, we were talking about him at uh, European Champs. He is a, a very big game changer. Is Tommy on board with Jordan now trying to get a hold of C. Just really trying to stop. Oh. How has he managed to survive and pick up that kill? Oh that my ridiculous. Goodness. Epsilon putting on a show for us here. Currently 5 and 0 for Swanee as well. Let's go on board with him. Give him some air time. And that's 6 and 0. Just dropping kids for fun. Yeah, Swanee down this left hand side. Once he gets uh, himself in a position that he likes, once he gets himself a, a decent angle, he, he can just literally sit there and hold that position down for the entirety of the game. He's only specialist bonus now. Look at that. He's got seven seven points to his name. He's currently on a seven score streak, seven kills, one cap as well. Well, they are taking A, but they are losing C as well. But at the moment, Epsilon absolutely cruising. Of course, they'd have that 38 point lead going in the second half. Currently have around nearly 20 point lead here. So, looking pretty solid for them. Swanee, is he going to eventually go down? <laughs> no. Oh. Does manage to take out Shane up. Oh, Shane Neo. We'll go with, we'll go with Shane. <laughs> Tommy getting another knife kill to his name as well. And at the moment, it's really just the process of Epsilon finishing this map. A 20-point lead now for them. They are currently losing Beagle. Can Swanee do anything to prevent that? There goes the specialist bonus as well. Does not have much ammo left. 9 no from Swanee at the moment. Does eventually get shut down. Let's go on board with Jared. Doing some defensive work at C, but it's all going down towards B. Triple cap for Epsilon now. Bit of an overextend for Van Q. They did get shut down and any sort of attack. Regan, can we get him off the 0 and 7? There you go as soon as we watch him. If that, that kill's mine, if anything. <laughs> You're claiming that kill. I am. Okay then, Tony, let's get back on board with Swanee, who's currently 10 and 1. Looking just to hold down the right hand side here this time. He's got himself a good lock into that A build in there. Of course, anybody that spawns at the back of the A flag, Swanee will see them as soon as they try and push out, but not with Josh. Going in, gun at him, but Swanee just providing a little bit of support. Two piece from Swanee there, taking down the player that took down Josh, following it up with a headshot on Norza. And now, just two minutes left 
of the site. I think, to be honest, Vanquish can kiss goodbye to this first map, if anything. But Swan is trying to shut down on that B flag. Takes down one, goes for a second, unable to pick that up. But Tommy's going to be able to cap that A point. So losing the points of B isn't going to cost them too much. No, I mean, they did lose B. Of course, that's the one you want control of. If you have a look at that map, it is directly in the centre of the map. And... You know, that's the one you want to have. I mean, I'm going to switch it up from Swanee at the moment because he is going 13 2. We've had a lot of viewing time on him. Let's see what Jud can do. Of course, one of the other talked about players on Epsilon. Absolutely unbelievable when he's on his games. Epsilon are taking B back now. It looks pretty easy for them. And then Swanee and Josh picking up kills. Well, looking as Jud is pushing towards C here. One minute and a half remaining. And it is pretty much. Yeah, it's impossible for Van Q to catch this up now. So that is going to be definitely the map going to go to Epsilon. It's just it's it's one lead and the best out of three. Yeah, it's just going to be a case now of what sort of lead they end up having at the end of this domination. Jir there picking up another kill, getting himself on that C flag, making sure that he does extend his caps there. He's got three to his name, so does Tommy, so does Josh. There's only Swanee left uh, with fewer caps, and even he's got one to his name as well. Tommy just going top of the leaderboard there. 13 kills, 6 deaths, 4 caps to his name. But Shaneo for Vanquish, not giving up, trying to put in a little bit of an effort towards the end, just to try and claw back that deficit somewhat, but does look a little bit too far out of reach, if anything. Not, I don't even think dominating for the rest oh. of the game would make it look, uh, look a, a competition. Well, Pulse did manage to pick himself up with two pieces. He's going to go in for C there, probably could have got the knife off on Josh, but does manage to get the kill. Going to get shut down by... Um, Jerd in the end there, up top and C, and pretty much relatively up, just a normal standard uh, game for Epsilon on that. But that pretty easily. Tommy's on an 8 kill streak. We're on board with him now with that MTAR. They are currently, well, they have lost B. Tommy's pushing on towards that arc. Oh. He will enable it. Does not get three pieces at the end there. But Epsilon, pretty standard game for them. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's just what score it was going to be. And they've, they've won this by 60 points there, Tony, again. So altogether, that's 98 points they beat them on domination there. Well, great work by Epsilon to take their first map of the winner's bracket in round number two. We are going to see them coming up on the second map. Can they close this one out 2-0 in quick fashion? We will see very, very shortly. You do not go anywhere. We'll be back after this very short break. <laughs> 